Hi everyone, wih gila keren nggak sih pakai bahasa Inggris. Jadi uh, kita di sini di Skill Tree episode ke 9 akan membahas tentang gimana kita bisa uh, game itu kan sekarang udah banyak nih sport yang online. Jadi kita mencoba untuk uh, trying to be more uh, connect with uh, game 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 yang kalian buat seperti kayak gitu sih. Maybe uh, we're gonna introduce the first uh, speaker, uh, which is Mukta, Mukta Abhale from uh, MPL. Uh, maybe uh... hi, Mukta. Hi, Arden. Yeah, how are you? Are you fine. I'm good. How are you? Yes. How are you? Yes, <laughs> I'm fine too. So. Um, What we gonna gonna learn today uh, by the uh, by the topic of uh, by our, by this today today topics? Uh, yes. So actually, uh, we're gonna look at how could you host your games on a public cloud. So basically, gaming and public cloud. That's cool. So that's that's why everything is connected right now, right? <laughs> yes. So yeah. Maybe, maybe I let you uh, go with your slide. Okay. Sure. Let me share the slides. Yes, probably should share the slide. Okay. Yep. All right. So. Uh, We're gonna talk about gaming and public cloud. Uh, That's get... right. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Maybe you, you could start now. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Arvin. Uh, thanks. Uh, I'll just give a little short introduction of who am I. Uh, I have about 17 years of experience. Uh, I started my career in the IT industry as a hardcore developer a uh, couple of years ago. That's A lot of years ago, probably 10 years ago, I uh, was interested in the DevOps space and I moved, switched to being a hardcore developer to a DevOps architect. Did a lot of consultation and I loved that space so much that I started my company called Revised Technologies where we did uh, a lot of uh, consultation in the DevOps and site reliability engineering space. Uh, eventually, this company, Krivais, was taken over by MPL. And at MPL, I'm playing the role of a DevOps and reliability uh, head. And uh, we look at the entire infrastructure on which the MPL platform works. Um, I'm from India. And I have traveled to Indonesia a couple of times. And I do love Indonesia. Ali. Um, I'll give uh, the next few slides. I'll give you a little introduction about what MPL is. Uh, we'll tell, I'll talk to you about how we could achieve, you know, big scale on how we could run our entire applications on the public cloud that is AWS. Um, then I'll touch a few aspects around, you know, what is important uh, that you should keep in mind to be able to run your games on a public cloud. So MPL, we are a gaming platform on which we host multiple games. So today we have 40 plus games running on our platform. Okay, we have a huge, huge user base and we have presence in India as well as Indonesia. Uh, I'd also like to take this opportunity uh, to let you know that the way our platform is, is that we ho uh, MPL is like, as I mentioned, it's a platform. It's not one game. Okay, So it is a platform on which we partner with uh, the game developers who build games for us, and we host them on the MPL platform. So if you're a hardcore developer, game developer, and writing some really cutting edge games, you can publish your games on our platform and monetize. Uh, you know, to know more details, uh, you can drop an email to Rasha. Rasha is our uh, is my colleague who is in Indonesia. Uh, 
to give to let you know that uh, you know we are uh, we are a huge platform we are actually one of the challenges of our platform is to be able to ensure that our infrastructure uh, withholds the kind of traffic and these numbers that you can see uh, example we are right now running around 50000 game plays per minute on our platform okay so definitely it requires a lot a really strong infrastructure and should this infrastructure be on prem or should it be on cloud okay so um, i do understand that or i have heard that a lot of uh, game uh, games in indonesia are uh, hosted on prem but this is as an example to tell you that you can actually make use of public cloud and uh, there are a lot of advantages uh, that you could uh, look at uh, as an example the kind of scale that we are talking for this particular scale hosting uh, having a you know hardcore infrastructure a big huge infrastructure to run uh, these kind of um, traffic is going to cost a lot but there are a lot of good Uh, cloud providers already available who provide a lot of services and features which make it possible for you to host your games uh this is to give an example so we have one such game uh, as chess which we run on our platform uh so these start these, this this there was a big event that was held a couple of months ago this gives an idea about how a uh, big that event was so in 12 hours there were uh, more than 1 million games that were played and uh, there were uh, the, the participations uh, you saw were about more than 300k registrations and uh, it also saw participations from some really big uh, you know chess uh, experts that's we call it as fid masters or grand masters who are who represent india at an international level and they are really uh, good at playing chess they also participated in this uh, gaming platform so our gaming platform uh, is this is to give an example this becomes a lot more complicated than running a single game because we are we are running multiple games and we run uh, so the format that we follow here is we have uh, different tournaments Uh, which the gamers you know uh, pay, uh, pay some registration fee and they enter a tournament and there is uh, the tournaments are designed to be very interesting such that uh, the the winner gets a lot of cash prize they also get some goodies and there are uh, and typically uh, there isn't one single winner there are multiple winners and overall it becomes a very interesting uh, Uh, way you could play certain games which otherwise uh, you know uh, so, so basically it makes it very interesting and also something we using which the gamers of can also make money along with the game developers so this gives again something which is uh, like a current if you see around 500k requests per minute is the kind of traffic that you can see Uh, if you notice that the traffic on our platform is not really uh, constant so throughout the day there is a uh, you know there is a peak and then at night times there is a drop so uh, if you are going to actually plan your infrastructure to be handle, handling the peak then in that case you will be investing a lot on your infrastructure but instead if you make use of cloud it helps you scale your infrastructure dynamically yeah so all of this these uh, such big platform we are purely hosted completely on public cloud we are on app aws uh, this gives you a little idea about how we could design our infra setup it is at a very very high level it talks about various components uh, so from the mobile app uh there are if you look at this i would be talking about two different things in this particular uh, uh session so one is uh, from the mobile app you can see two different arrows one goes to the smart fox servers these are our gaming servers so this is where the actual game runs okay the this gaming server is used only for playing uh, you know 1v1 games or 1v n games like 
uh, SmartFox, we also run uh, Photon servers today, uh, which are hosted. Then uh, there are also other requests. So when uh, you download the app and open up page, since it is not a single game, and uh, there are a lot of other features that our application has, there are a lot of requests that go through application load balancer into our internal services. These internal services, we have written them in Java, and the communication between each service is using gRPC. We also make use of cache, database, uh, queues, uh, notification services. So these are the different components that you can see. We also use uh, a CDN. We use Akamai and Cloudflare. And uh, uh, we use Jenkins for CI CD and code deploy for automated co uh, deployments. So those of you who are kind of new to code deploy uh, or in new to AWS, code deploy is uh, AWS service using which you can deploy on your AWS instances uh, uh, seamlessly. So without any uh, taking any downtime for any of our releases, uh, we make releases onto uh, our production without any downtime. I'll pause here for a minute if you want to take a look at this and you can send me certain questions uh, at the end of it. So I'll just take a pause on this slide before I move on to the next slide. OK, moving on. Moving on. Uh, this, is, this gives a little bit more idea about, again, uh, the technically, technically, if you have to talk about the scale that we have, so we have been able to handle a peak of more than 2 million hits per minute uh, from our the external uh, uh, peak. So from external requests on our ALV was uh, more than 2 million, 2.1 million. Um, we actually, uh, the, the other stats, certain things, we process about 3 TBs of data uh, by ELK. ELK is our uh, uh, Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, our log and monitoring system. And the way we have set it up today is we can actually handle requests at 30,000 requests per second. Apart from this, we have a lot of backend services, we, and we use the microservice architecture. We have more than 375 EC2 servers. Again, those who are new to AWS, I'll, uh, EC2 servers are the AWS instances on which we run our servers. So it means that we have total more than 375 uh, servers, instances. We have more than 50 database servers. We use cache, uh, and then uh, we use a lot of lambdas. Uh, the way we have written the Jenkins pipelines is very, very modular. So whenever there's a new service or something, there isn't any change, and we don't have to write 70 different microservice, different pipelines whenever a new microservice comes in. So we have made it very modular. Um, I mentioned that we've been using code deploy as well, and we're using Ansible and Python for a lot of automation, which includes um, automated healing and self recovery in case of any incidents in production. So, the next few slides, I'll just come, uh, you know, talk about certain advantages of public cloud and how they, it helped us uh, you know, uh, scale to the uh, numbers that you can see right now. Uh, so we actually started using AWS right from the start. So we did not do, you know, uh, we did not have to, you know, we did not set up anything on-prem. And uh, retrospectively, it looks like a best decision that we made. Uh, that's because right uh, when we launched our first version and within three months of launching the app, we have seen unprecedented growth in the kind of traffic that we saw in the first three months itself. So this was something when uh, you're not expecting this much of traffic on your systems. Uh, we thought it, it is always good that we could dynamically scale uh, your, our infrastructure to adjust to uh, the growing traffic. 
okay uh, in this case what is this dynamic scaling or what are the infra components that you could scale they are all infra components like the gaming servers the database cache backend services okay um, so we could scale all of this given that the way we would scale to ensure no changes to the gaming experience for tournaments 1v1 multiplayer games so um so, uh, so we have so uh, we the, we need to and the backend services we need to handle the dynamic scaling differently for each but one more point i'd like to hand, uh, let you know is one of the advantages we also could do uh, with this is uh, the kind of licenses that you require to run uh, on your gaming servers be it a smart fox server or be it photon even these we could manage it automatically using certain scripts example uh, i spoke of an event like chess mahayudh it was an example we run many such events and if you see these events run for say just a certain time of the day or few days of the month so for those few days we require uh, uh, so the uh, we require a lot more so the there are a lot more users and we require a lot more licenses so that these users can play uh, the games on our app. uh so during these times we actually are able to even scale the licenses buy more licenses only for that particular event and uh, set them on our uh, scaled up infra gaming infrastructure as well run that event and then after that just uh, downsize uh, our infrastructure to save costs i'll speak a little bit about how our gaming servers especially smart fox server is so we use smart fox servers we buy their licenses and we host it on our uh, so we host it on our uh, infrastructure but we also use photon servers but we, uh, they are managed uh, servers okay we have one service microservice which does uh, custom matchmaking logic is built in so when uh, typically you would have seen this is a very common gaming um, fundamental where when you have to find a player a matching with player 2 their typically their uh, levels have to be matched so uh, the expertise the expertise in a particular game now this plus this actually might be this uh, a little difficult to do like example when we are hosting multiple games Uh, there would be multiple, uh, you know, ways of how you would do this matchmaking. So we have something called as we define tiers, based on which this matchmaking logic is done. Now, why I'm speaking about this is uh, this finding a match quickly is also one of the challenges uh, when uh, people are playing. So imagine that a user clicks on your app saying, "I want to play a game," and it takes close to a minute to find your match. typically the user will just stop that app you know kill that app and just go move ahead we don't want that to happen uh then the users uh, today they connect to our game servers they should be able to connect without any latency and hence these uh game servers should be very close to where the uh, user is uh, i'd also like to make a note here uh, there is something called as cloud gaming okay in this case the way we are rendering games is not through the concept of cloud gaming uh in this case whenever a user wants to play a game his that game runs on the use so the game assets are downloaded on the user's device but the game is run uh, the actual game runs on the gaming server but it is not live streaming that i'm talking here about uh this is something interesting start this is specifically for indonesia region because if you a question like if you've been thinking okay all of this is good for india no it is not we have been able to achieve the similar kind of latency even in indonesia so this actually is just out of our kibana dashboard a snapshot which shows that the response times that we are getting now this is between our apis is less than 25 milliseconds this is well below the benchmark where they say that for an overall gaming experience if the latency is somewhere around 500 milliseconds this is that's the time when 
if it goes more than half a second half a second 500 milliseconds that is where uh, the statistics have shown that the users do not be, uh, like playing those games so um, it is possible to achieve latency uh, even in indonesia while using the public cloud there are certain performance considerations here uh, one advantage again of using uh, the public cloud is the, the entire internal traffic that is these back end services they communicate uh, through internal network of the cloud provider and this, this if you look at a good uh, a cloud provider typically they have invested in a good in infrastructure and good network and you will get those good speeds if you were to build your own data center and as your game starts growing in size it becomes difficult to handle such network considerations our services today talk to each other using the grpc protocol which is supposed to be a lot faster uh, we use uh, make use of cache so that data retrieval and write is pretty quick and our game servers we ensure that they are located close to the gamer uh, because we don't want once the game uh, starts and uh, because of low bat network bandwidth from the users the gamer side we don't want him to get disconnected so this is where the game server should be closest to the gamer or uh, so from indonesia perspective we could actually set up a vpn tunnel from indonesia to aw singapore which is the closest side and from that uh, all that you require is uh, and and that uh, a uh, line already exists between indonesia and aw singapore you just have to uh, if uh, pay for a dedicated tunnel dedicated network bandwidth on which your users can connect and have a seamless gaming experience i'd also like to mention that we make use of cdn this also plays a very crucial aspect especially in the indonesia uh, side uh, we this helps downloading gaming assets faster certain static images and static content gets downloaded faster uh, the uh, apk updates and new installs that also is fast as well as most of these cdns also support partial downloads so consider that your apk is if 100 mb size and if you try to download it uh, and the user downloads like 80 mb and his network probably it gets fluctuated so you don't want the users to start downloading from zero again so this kind of functionality is also made available by the cdns we use akamai and cloudflare uh, uh, for various uh, different categories we use both akamai as well as cloudflare um, yeah akamai has worked well for us in the indonesia region so this is my last slide i'll just take a short uh, you know i just make this mention of security so while uh, we are talking about security security uh, is a very generic term and the slide just tries to list down the different aspects which you need to consider with respect to security so certain uh, so where, what is important for security is you don't have to put everything that flows like data at rest and data at transit is something that you must have you might be knowing so you don't need to uh, encrypt or you don't need to worry about security of every data for this you need to first classify what is actually sensitive data and what is not okay uh, there are certain legal considerations there are also certain things which you don't want so sensitive would mean which have legal implications which also have uh, things around um, financial implications as well okay uh, the next question is Uh, if you have been running and you you uh, like wondering if your data is secure on the cloud most of the big public providers today actually vouch for the security and again when you are hosting something on your own versus you are letting your application uh, in the hands of a well known public cloud uh, what happens in this case is this data uh, they have invested more in ensuring that your data is secure uh your data is secure your app is secure so you can actually be assured that the data security is well handled on cloud for example in aws itself they provide a uh, cloud duty cloud trail etc so there are a lot of services that are available 
uh, using which uh, it tells you in case of any attack on your servers, uh, you can also write certain proactive or predictive uh, um, monitoring to ensure that your servers are secure. Uh, each cloud provider also recommends certain do's and don'ts of how you should design your infrastructure to be secure. One more point. Uh, so when you talk about security, this is whatever I spoke till now was the infra security. But there is another thing that is important from the gaming domain is hacking or fraud. Now, this uh, doesn't necessarily fall under infra security. But there are a lot of gamers or rather hackers who hack uh, your game. Okay? Typically, the, these kind of uh, hackers, uh, they, uh, they do frauds by ta chain making changes to your client code. Okay, So this is where there are certain do's and don'ts that happen in case of um, hacking. But one of the advantages that we found when we are using cloud is uh, we, since we are having, uh, since we can actually tap on to different events that are happening on the system, we actually capture a lot of such events. And at some point, it is possible for us to figure out where this hacking has occurred. I would like to let you know that this is not a very simple thing. We have a very dedicated team which works on fraud. But uh, that is something which even uh, cloud providers uh, do help. And they provide a lot of features so that you can tackle hackers. Uh, typically, uh, anything that you want to make more secure, there is always a slight trade-off with performance. So example, you lock your door with two locks. You're going to take a longer time to open it and get into the house. So similarly, uh, when it comes to security, you don't have to put, you don't have to be very uh, panicky and do a lot of things. Uh, basically, try to put in security at places not required. And that is what my first point on this slide was about figure out what is more sensitive and needs that extra lock or extra security and put uh, and do the security considerations. Again, these security considerations are nothing different than what it would be on public cloud versus your own hosted cloud. Uh, it's just that public cloud, uh, I do feel that they have invested a little bit more. So if you have any questions or you want to contribute, you can drop an email to Rasha or me. Um, yeah, that's, that's that's really very uh, comprehensive uh, explanation about the public cloud. So I think that's that's a good uh, presentation. Uh, I know that uh, most of the new developer probably kind of still worried about the security and 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 the manpower needs to have the fraud and hacking that you mentioned before, right? Uh, so. We already we already know about the public cloud and how 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 MPL and and MPL as a study case uh, do the uh, cloud gaming thing. So um, next we're gonna talk about the uh, Alibaba. So Mukta, probably I'm gonna start uh, doing with Bahasa if that's okay with you. Uh, yeah, that's fine. There are a couple of questions, uh, which probably at the end of the session, I'll take so if there are more questions. Please feel free to drop them on that uh, link. So I do see a couple of them. We'll answer them at the end of the session. Yes, absolutely. So the the, the question and answer would be uh, at the end of the, the, the session. Thank you, Muta. Uh, mungkin untuk uh, selanjutnya, uh, pembicara kedua kita itu ada dari Alibaba. Cloud, in, silakan kepada Mas Max. Oke. Okay. Ya, halo, oh, apa ya. kabar nih? Baik, baik. <laughs> Jadi kan baik, kita baik, tadi baik, udah, baik, baik. tadi kan kita udah tahu nih soal gimana public cloud itu dan dan apalagi kalau misalkan sekarang kan orang semua pengennya online ya dan yeah. dan banyak yang dari teman-teman uh, industri itu pasti uh, lagi belajar belajar nih soal terkait dengan um, teknologi cloud sendiri, either itu game yang dipublish di cloud, ataupun mungkin uh, multiplayer uh, games itself kan, apalagi lagi Battle Royale lagi in banget nih, mungkin kita bakal coba uh, 
kulik-kulik sedikit tentang teknologi apa sih yang ada di Alibaba itu. Mungkin itu ya? Boleh, siap. Ya, saya, saya coba um, sampaikan sebisa saya ya. Oke, baik. jadi saya bisa langsung share screen ya ini ya? Baik, baik. Bisa, Mas. Oke. Um, iya, bentar ya. Kelihatan ya? Bisa. Kelihatan. Kelihatan ya? Oke, okay, thank you banget buat thank you banget ya buat kesempatannya. Ya, jadi yes. nama saya Max, saya uh, sebagai solution architect di Alibaba Cloud. Uh, jadi saya senang banget sih sebenarnya dengan uh, bahas gaming ini karena dulu dulu sendiri uh, gimana ya ceritanya? Mungkin kalau saya, saya bisa cerita sedikit. Jadi um, ya ya lebih dari 10 tahun yang lalu lah saya dulu kuliah di Indonesia gitu ya di Surabaya. Terus saya uh, nyoba kerja uh, habis lulus saya langsung nyoba ke Singapura. Ya puji Tuhan dapat Uh, kerjaan uh, kesana kesini kesana sini terus eventually saya sebenarnya join uh, game company gitu ya di Singapura jadi itu uh, Japanese game company tapi dia buka di Singapura dan saya join di sana uh, jadi itu the, awal di mana saya mengenal uh, dunia ge- pergamingan lah istilahnya um, dan sampai sekarang saya masih punya uh, banyak hati gitulah istilahnya di uh, game meskipun dulu pun saya Uh, di dunia game itu sebenarnya saya juga di back endnya sih, jadi saya nggak terlalu. Jadi waktu itu salah satu game yang saya buat itu uh, itu kayak game hack and slash gitu, tapi bisa uh, main bareng teman lah istilahnya gitu. Jadi um, jadi game itu um, untuk hack and slashnya segala macam itu bukan saya yang buat, itu client developer, tapi saya lebih ke arah back end developernya itu nggak buat uh, di bidang servernya lah. Jadi gimana sih buat um, supaya bisa scalable, etc. kayak gitu. Nah, tadi saya sempat ada tanya buat uh, ke tim Agi juga. Jadi, kebanyakan saya dengar-dengar itu lebih ke arah uh, mobile atau klien uh, uh, game developernya saat ini. Mungkin saya untuk yang saat ini, unfortunately, saya nggak bisa bahas terlalu banyak nih sebenarnya di, di masalah yang klien gitu ya. Tapi saya mungkin saya bisa sambungkan idenya dari klien sendiri ke um, server engineer di belakangnya gitu, uh, game di belakangnya. Oke, kita langsung aja. Jadi, Nah, kalau tadi udah banyak disampaikan ya, apa sih keunggulannya cloud? Mungkin saat ini saya lebih um, karena saya sebagai perwakilan dari Alibaba Cloud, mungkin saya akan menjelaskan lagi gitu ya, um, yang yang mungkin ada konteks-konteks apa, misalnya ada server atau apa, mungkin apa sih yang sebenarnya di Alibaba Cloud bisa gitu atau yang beda misalnya. Oke, okay? uh, jadi langsung aja, saya nggak nggak akan makan terlalu banyak waktu juga. Yang pertama adalah uh, gaming trend di digital age. Jadi dulu um, saya pertama kali main game online. Saya juga lupa namanya apa, Nexia, atau mungkin masuk ke uh, Ragnarok gitu. Jadi saya juga banyak sering main game dulu. Uh, itu banyak game-game itu, um, bahkan sampai sekarang gitu ya, yang um, coveragenya mungkin di region tertentu. Misalnya mungkin di Indonesia gitu ya, atau mungkin kalau dia di Singapura, dia buka lagi. Tapi semakin ke sini, uh, game itu semakin global. Antara mereka bukanya di Southeast Asia, atau mungkin langsung di global. Uh, seluruh dunia ber- bermain di server yang sama. Nah, mungkin di kesempatan kali ini saya akan menceritakan lebih lagi tentang yang uh, ke arah globalization Yang kedua juga dengan adanya new technology. Mungkin yang sebelumnya fokusnya cuma uh, untuk ke backend-nya, ya, untuk servernya fokusnya cuma ke arah uh, server aja selama masih nyala nggak apa-apa. Tapi sekarang udah banyak teknologi yang bisa digabungkan. Seperti misalnya di sebelah sini, yaitu tentang um, artificial intelligence, ya, AI. di sini mungkin saya sebentar ya saya ganti sedikit nah jadi di bagian artificial intelligence ini yang mungkin uh, bisa lebih dieksplor lagi ke depannya jadi mungkin kalau teman-teman yang baru uh, buat uh, mungkin ya, nah, saya selalu beranggap uh, anjuran saya adalah yang uh, buat dulu aja gitu nggak usah sampai mikir terlalu banyak tentang teknologi tapi buat dulu aja tapi setelah udah selesai kita launch berhasil nah kita bisa pikirin kira-kira apa yang bisa dikembangin dari sini misalnya lewatin AI-nya atau mungkin kalau memang game-nya fokus yang berada di alam di AI ya mungkin beda beda cerita tapi gimana uh, cloud itu bisa membantu gitu. nah ini jadi uh, challenge-nya ya jadi um, apa sih yang yang um, kesulitan apa yang biasanya dialamin de- dari uh, digital age ini jadi uh, yang pertama adalah uh, low game fluency jadi kalau misalnya taruhnya uh, di mana ini misalnya ada konten image-nya di mana Uh, diambilnya semua dari di server yang sama. Sedangkan kalau misalnya di Alibaba, kita sebenarnya punya satu fitur yang namanya CDN. Apa sih CDN? Itu Content Delivery Network. Jadi contohnya, kalian punya um, server kalian, misalnya kalian taruh di Jakarta, ya di, di Indonesia. Kita ada server di Indonesia. Jadi kalau misalnya kalian mau serve customer di Indonesia, don't worry, kita udah ada dua data center di sini. Gitu ya. Dan kita uh, terus kembangin dan uh, mau coba uh, terus kembangin uh, ke depannya juga. Uh, untuk secara jumlah maupun dengan kualitasnya kita. Um, jadi kalau misalnya kalian misalnya nih taruh gambar di Jakarta, tapi misalnya 
user kalian ada di Singapura. Itu nggak usah khawatir, karena kalau misalnya um, biasanya orang mikirnya, oh jadi semua orang di Singapura masuknya ngambil gambar ke Jakarta terus. Oh, belum tentu gitu ya. Dengan menggunakan CDN, kita bisa uh, di cache istilahnya, di copy file gambarnya itu di yang terdekat. Dan kita juga ada di Singapura. Jadi, um, se- kalau misalnya untuk game-game itu, mereka bisa tinggal ngambilnya di Singapura aja, meskipun source utama gambarnya itu ada di Jakarta. Misalnya gitu. Okay. Poor scalability. Nah, jadi kalau misalnya kalian main uh, game uh, tergantung lah servernya seperti apa. Di kalau misalnya kalian pakai yang on premises ya atau yang biasa, itu kalian harus uh, beli ini harus mikir nih. Oh, kira-kira uh, perlu seberapa besar ya gitu ya. Sedangkan kalau misalnya di Alibaba Cloud, kalian nggak usah mikir itu lagi. Kalian tinggal beli aja, nyalain gitu ya. Uh, nyalain uh, buat server game-nya dinyalain, kita lihat uh, penggunanya seperti apa. Kalau kurang besar tinggal ditambah. Kalau terlalu besar, tinggal dikurangin, gitu. Simple, PSU go. Jadi kalian bayar per jam atau bahkan per detik, per menit, gitu ya. Uh, yang ketiga adalah tentang DDoS attack. Jadi kalau di Alibaba Cloud, kita, semua produk yang kita keluarin itu udah kita tes melalui Alibaba Platform, gitu ya. Kalau misalnya kalian sempat dengar Alibaba tentang e-commerce, kita uh, record breaking sebenarnya. Jadi kalau misalnya kalian lihat di sini, highlight-nya ada 540 ribu. Jadi uh, secara e-commerce lah ya, kita pernah melakukan uh, epic 544 ribu order per second, gitu ya, per detik. Jadi, um, 544 ribu order itu bukannya orang yang, 500 ribu orang browser, bukan ya. Jadi, kalau istilahnya kalian udah add to cart, gitu ya, kalau di e-commerce, 544 ribu orang itu klik buy now di saat yang bersamaan. Itu di atasnya misalnya orang browsing, chatting, lihat-lihat produk detail, semuanya itu. Dan itu di saat yang bersamaan kita juga Uh, uh, memblok le- uh, segit, uh, 2, bi- 2 miliar uh, web attacks ini. Jadi kita bisa bersihin yang mana yang attack dan yang mana yang memang legit request. Yang sebelumnya kalau misalnya long launch cycle, kalau misalnya lama gitu ya mau mau nge-launch butuh waktu lama beli server, provisioning segala macam di Alibaba, kalau kalian uh, beli namanya ECS kita, virtual machine kita, itu enggak sampai 1 menit di jalan servernya kalau yang vanilla ya, yang yang basicnya. Kalian bisa tinggal atur, salah nih tinggal di-delete. Gitu. Nggak usah mikir-mikir, oh ini gimana caranya, oh, ribet, mastiin benar, gitu. nggak usah. Bisa lebih gampang, lebih gampang. Uh, uh, faster to fail lah istilahnya. Ya. Um, R&D untuk customer juga, customer support kita 24 jam. Um, R&D kalau misalnya, kalau misalnya kalian butuh fitur baru, kalian nggak usah mikir lagi, oh uh, ini gimana nih saya butuh kembangin ini, nggak usah. Jadi semua kita yang kembangin, kalian tinggal lebih ke arah penggunaannya. Oke. Okay. Um, high development cost, R&D dan testing cost ini juga serupa seperti yang lainnya. Mungkin kita lebih highlightnya di tempat kita bisa PSU Go. Jadi bayar per jam dulu. Kalau misalnya nanti udah yakin nih, misalnya udah confident, oh game ini pasti butuh paling enggak 10 server, ya itu bisa di subscription. Jadi harganya bisa lebih murah. Oke, okay, jadi ada apa aja sih uh, gaming solution kita? Jadi mungkin uh, yang kita support itu ada di cloud game, browser game, mobile game kita support. Gitu ya banyak user-user kita yang menggunakan seperti um, Misalnya Laito, gitu ya, menggunakan um, Alibaba Club. Kalau misalnya kalian familiar um, dulu, mungkin ada yang main Ragnarok, gitu ya, uh, Laito sebagai publisher-nya, mereka menggunakan Alibaba Club. Indofan juga, kalau misalnya kalian familiar, mereka juga menggunakan Alibaba Club. Uh, jadi ada uh, network accelerator juga, mungkin nanti saya jelaskan sedikit, kita bisa membantu kalian untuk global deployment, dan juga di sisi security-nya. Nah, ini sebagai produk, produk-produknya sebenarnya, mungkin saya nggak terlalu bahas terlalu banyak ya di sini, Tapi uh, yang mau saya lihat adalah kita punya OSS ini sebenarnya storage-nya kita. Jadi kalau kalian punya konten-konten, statik konten, misalnya kalian bisa taruh di sini. Kita punya AI, kalau misalnya kalian butuhkan, VOD ini video on demand. Misalnya kan kalau misalnya game mungkin ada um, ada videonya gitu ya. Itu bisa kalian simpan dan kalian taruh di VOD ini. Nanti kalian bisa serve ke customer kalian. Uh, big data kita juga ada. Kalau kalian yang familiar di back-end, mau buat Kubernetes kita juga support, dan database Um, majority of popular database, itu kita punya. Ya, kalau misalnya kalian um, yang pakai server gunakan banyak, saran saya salah satunya adalah coba explore uh, Redis namanya. Jadi Redis itu open source, um, key value source, dan dia sangat cepat. Dan itu bisa buat, um, kalian bisa buat misalnya, um, yang paling paling bagus menurut saya salah satunya adalah leader leaderboards. Gitu. Jadi dulu waktu saya buat game itu, kita punya lebih dari 1 juta user. Itu kalau misalnya mau tahu, oh, mau dong di uh, di leaderboardin apa um, usernya nomor satu siapa nomor 10 siapa gitu itu menurut saya 
saat ini ya, menurut saya paling bagus salah satu solusinya adalah menggunakan Redis itu. Oke. Okay. Jadi sebelah sini ada um, content acceleration seperti misalnya melalui CDN atau global acceleration, acceleration kita. Um, high concurrence, high concurrence, kalian bisa menggunakan uh, banyak user tempat kita. Kita juga support GPU dan juga bare metal. Bare metal ini kayak physical, seperti physical server. Um, kita juga punya banyak fitur-fitur uh, seperti anti DDoS, WAF, Game Shield untuk meningkatkan uh, proteksi security dari sebelum menyentuh server kalian sampai di dalam servernya kalian. Ya. Kita juga ada dedicated regional database. Jadi um, enggak kita server kita nggak cuman kita juga ada di Singapura atau di Malaysia di tempat lain gitu. Tapi kita banyak fokus juga di, di um, Southeast Asia khususnya di Indonesia. Jadi di Indonesia sendiri kita udah punya dua, dua data center. Kalau kalian mau kembangin di Malaysia, misalnya infect di Southeast Asia, kalau kalian target, kita salah satu solusi terbaik sih menurut saya gitu. Karena kita ada tiga di Singapura, dua di Malaysia, dan dua di Indonesia. Gitu ya. ini, ini datanya aja lah. Mungkin saya nggak terlalu panjang lebar, tapi ini kalian bisa lihat di sini. Kalian mau di Asia, Eropa, di Amerika, di China, kalian bisa akses semua. Kita juga punya link langsung sebenarnya dari China keluar. Jadi kalau kalian mau target uh, market di China, kita juga bisa bantu di sana. Ini tentang game security. Jadi ada banyak sebenarnya informasi-informasinya um, di sini. Dari masalah application, ada WAF, network, misalnya anti DDoS, cloud firewall, operation, threat detection service. Jadi kita bisa tahu siapa sih yang berusaha uh, tag kalian. Misalnya kita bisa detect sebelumnya um, data gitu ya di, di, di uh, pihak database-nya host security di servernya itu sendiri. Secara bisnis kita juga punya namanya ini content moderation. Jadi kalau misalnya kalian, uh, misalnya kalian kasih user kalian untuk mengupload uh, profile picture dia, atau mungkin um, ini banyak juga dipakai buat web application misalnya, mengupload um, gambar atau apa, kalian mungkin nggak mau bahwa konten-konten itu mengandung unsur pornografi atau terorisme. Nah, gambar yang kalian kasih upload itu, kalian bisa um, lewatin content moderation ini dulu mastiin uh, bahwa nggak ada unsur pornografi atau terorisme baru kalian upload kalau nggak kalian kasih warning misalnya atau reject kayak gitu kalian bisa atur di content moderation ini kita punya toolsnya jadi mempermudah kalian um, identity jadi kalau misalnya perubahan sesuatu di Alibaba Cloud atau mungkin Max Alibaba Cloud jadi kalau misalnya punya usernya cuma bisa satu orang doang dong yang handle nggak jadi melalui RAM ini kalian bisa punya multi user Nah, ini accelerated content delivery. Apa sih maksudnya? Mungkin nanti akan ada, bentar ya, saya coba cek sedikit. Um, Oke, okay. mungkin saya jelaskan di sini aja. Jadi, um, kalau misalnya kalian menggunakan yang tadi ada server di Indonesia, tapi banyak user kalian di tempat lain, itu kalau misalnya code-code cuma CDN biasa, biasanya mereka menggunakan public network, jadi tergantung telco di negara itu masing-masing. Misalnya, oh ternyata lewatnya, Misalnya dari Singapura mau ke Indonesia, oh ternyata lewatnya ke Hongkong dulu, itu tergantung telco, kadang bisa salah gitu ya. Sedangkan kalau di tempat kita, kita udah punya backbone networknya menggabungkan ini. Jadi kalau misalnya user kalian dari satu region ke region yang lain atau negara, itu kita bisa tahu paling cepatnya itu kemana, gitu, dengan menggunakan sistemnya kita. Oke. Okay. Nah, jadi kita juga punya uh, game tools platform. Jadi ini saya sempat bilang sedikit, kalau yang kalian familiar sama Kubernetes, kita ada, gitu ya. kita punya di sini, untuk masalah um, compute-nya sendiri, kita punya macam-macam sebenarnya. Jadi, kalau kalian lebih aware lagi, eh, saya perlu memori lebih banyak, saya perlu CPU lebih banyak, saya perlu network, saya perlu uh, GPU misalnya. Nah, kita ada semua tipe-tipenya itu. Uh, kalian mau lebih tergantung game kalian, mau lebih banyak apa, kita juga punya di sana. Ini beberapa informasinya aja. <coughs> Sorry. Um, um, ini x -Dragon ini physical server-nya kita. Kita punya uh, lebih dari 50 ribu Uh, GPU server, ya. Um, dan ini uh, beberapa informasi-informasi lainnya lagi. Oke, okay. mungkin nanti kalau saya penasaran bisa diengage lebih lagi lah. Tapi saya nggak mau terus ngomong ini nanti untuk yang nggak terlalu ke server nanti bingung gitu ini. Aduh, terlalu dalam. Oke, okay, jadi ini nggak uh, terlalu banyak lagi sebenarnya ini untuk game analysis dan personalization kita. Mungkin ini kita target ke game kalian setelah kalian mencapai titik tertentu ya. Jadi kalau misalnya yang baru-baru, kalian nggak usah terlalu pusing ini dulu, gitu ya istilahnya. Yang penting kalian uh, pastikan game kalian itu marketingnya, uh, uh, gameplaynya baik, dan bisa di-serve ke banyak orang. Tapi setelah kalian uh, mengumpulkan akumulasi tertentu, dan kalian punya user base tertentu, fan base tertentu, nah, ini kalian bisa uh, buat nih. 
Jadi kita punya uh, big data platform namanya One Data. Ya. Jadi dengan ID-ID itu, model dan servicesnya kita, kita bisa tahu oh kira-kira customer kalian itu seperti apa demografiknya, mereka suka game-game yang modelnya seperti apa. Kita bisa tahu juga misalnya kita ada ada tekniknya lah gimana cara tahunya oh ternyata user A sama user B ini Uh, kemungkinan besar family loh gitu mungkin mungkin suami istri mungkin anaknya gitu mungkin kalian bisa pikir juga oh ternyata banyak uh, pemain game kita itu yang sama family jadi mungkin kalau orang tuanya main anaknya juga main atau mungkin sama-sama saudara dua-duanya main mungkin kalian bisa pertimbangin oh mungkin kita buat game yang uh, bisa lebih sosial misalnya atau kalau dekat mungkin bisa apa gitu ya itu bisa dipertimbangkan lah, lebih jauh lagi ini data-data aja. Um, uh, kita, performance-nya kita, uh, speed-nya kita, big data, AI, um, you know, berapa terabyte yang kita proses, segala macam. Um, ini cuma data aja lah um, buat informasi. Tapi kalau kalian mau cari tahu lebih lagi, uh, kita bisa jelasin lagi. Oke, okay. okay, sebenarnya itu aja. Singkat, uh, semoga itu singkat, jelas, dan padat ya. Um, mungkin kalau misalnya saya bisa balik dan fokus lagi, uh, highlight-nya adalah di sebelah sini yang pertama ini adalah apa sih keuntungannya jadi kalian bisa dengan mudah launch ya. terus juga di sebelah sini produk-produk kita dari database Kubernetes big data video storage kita ada juga kita juga bisa bantu kalian ke uh, cross deployment um, security dan juga um, content deliverynya gitu aja um, dari saya nah untuk lanjut lagi nih ada dua dua aja yang pertama adalah kita sebenarnya punya kelas buat Um, Alibaba Cloud. Jadi kalau kalian tertarik, pengen tahu, eh, um, oke okay, kayaknya menarik nih. Tapi saya pengen tahu lebih dalam lagi gimana ya. Kita punya free training sebenarnya dari um, cloud computing, security, big data, DevOps. Kalian bisa join gitu. Gimana caranya? Kalian bisa join di sini dulu. Ini saya kasih um, highlight di sini, gitu ya. Jadi kalau kalian yang punya um, HP sekarang bisa uh, kalian scan di sini QR code-nya. Kalian download uh, dari ding, kalian download Dingtok dulu. Nanti kita bisa scan di sini. Kalau yang penasaran mungkin nggak nggak sempet gitu ya. Sekarang ini karena uh, perlu download ini. Kalian nggak uh, apa-apa. Di sini kita nanti ada survei. Kalian juga bisa. Tapi kalau misalnya kalian yang udah punya Dingtok misalnya, kalian bisa scan ini. Kalian bisa join ke communitynya kita. Jadi kita punya grup um, Alibaba Cloud Indonesia. Kalian bisa join community. Kalian bisa uh, mau cari tahu juga buat training segala macam. Kalian juga bisa di sini. Nanti akan ada professional certification. Jadi kita juga ada exam-nya. Kalian bisa mendapatkan professional certification yang diakui di seluruh dunia. Oke, okay. uh, terus ini juga ada survei. Saya juga mungkin uh, kasih waktu di sini sebentar. Uh, please help kita buat um, uh, surveinya ini. Jadi kita juga pengen tahu kira-kira uh, mungkin kedepannya kalian pengen tahu apa lagi sih tentang gaming gitu. Karena uh, sebenarnya gaming ini saya uh, tadi bilang pengen lebih dalam lagi. Cuman dari tim kita bilang mungkin cari tahu dulu kira-kira mereka maunya apa. Apakah lebih servernya, lebih apanya? Jadi kita mungkin ke depannya kalau kita adain lagi kita bisa lebih detail ke arah sana misalnya gitu. Semoga sih ini kita bisa lebih berkelanjutan lah um, eventnya ini. Gitu ya. Jadi uh, please bantu kita buat survei di sini, buat kasih kira-kira um, kalian maunya seperti apa. Mungkin kita juga kalau misalnya kalian tadi yang bilang emak kita mau ikutan um, training dan certificationnya, mungkin juga bisa dari sini nanti kita juga bisa kontak kalian atau dari tim Agi atau dari uh, kalian juga bisa kontak langsung ke Alibaba Cloud lewat kontak asnya kita di website juga. Oke, okay. ini saya taruh sini uh, mungkin sekitar 15 detik lagi, gitu ya. Ya mungkin untuk teman-teman silahkan me, kalau mau terutama di survei ini bisa di QR ya. nya tolong di isi ya agar juga kita bisa jadi ada uh, back and forth ya mas ya iya siap right. kasih banget oke okay, kayaknya itu aja saya nggak mau terlalu berlama-lama juga um, sama kalau misalnya nanti ada pertanyaan please feel free buat um, ditaruh juga nanti saya juga bisa jawab gitu ya sebisa mungkin oke okay. kayaknya dari saya itu aja sih mas Ardan oke okay, ya baik baik uh, terima kasih kepada mas Max uh, ya, kasih so Mungkin juga kita bakal ngundang Mukta lagi ke sini kali ya. Halo uh, Mukta. Hai. Uh, so, we gonna open the uh, Q&A session right now. So, there's a couple of question. Um, <laughs> mungkin. Dia ngomong next ya. Ya, ya, ya. Yeah, so I'll just uh, look at one. So one of the questions was, yeah. uh, do we run, uh, have we worked on any other public cloud other than AWS? 
absolutely we use alibaba in indonesia okay so in indonesia all our gaming servers are hosted on alibaba so uh, we do we did, we faced a lot of latency when we used aws for our indonesia region and uh, uh, that latency could be addressed uh, after we moved some part of our, we couldn't move 100% of our infrastructure to alibaba because we already had certain things which were tightly coupled with aws but all our latency issues were addressed because we used alibaba the way we structured this was uh, we have most of our so i mentioned that the gaming servers when they are closer to the users location it helps uh, in the latency so that's where our game, entire gaming servers run uh, as a part of that same question uh, there is like uh, uh, where does uh, this infrastructure lie so we actually Uh, so the uh, smartphone servers that's the one we one uh, infrastructure runs on uh, alibaba servers for indonesia uh, the photon servers runs on the photon infrastructure and it's the same photon hosted infrastructure which works perfectly for uh, indonesia region as well there's no latency there i see yeah okay. uh, <laughs> so that's one of the things which i had to clarify yes. um yeah so yeah so probably uh we should start the uh Q&A <laughs> all right mm -hmm. so um from producer hello next question please okay can you probably can you explain how the real time multiplayer and algorithm works on both front end and back end or probably based on the 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 the, the server and the the you know stuff like that thank you uh yes so since um we are like a platform and the game that runs has to be uh, written well so that it can you can play multiplayer games but th these are the gaming servers which uh, help you get the real time experience of playing a particular game so the client side li libraries that have to be written for this game have to be very lightweight and we have it like we we have a process in which we continuously check if the size of that and the performance of the client side uh, is also uh, written to be Uh, lightweight because these game assets will also be get downloaded and run uh, on the uh, uh, users the gamers machine the back end servers uh, the, this is the gaming servers which we are mm. talking about which are the smartfox servers which we host for indonesia region we host right. it on alibaba and photon servers is on photon infrastructure itself maybe maybe i can add a little bit i mean i don't know whether mm. yes. it helps um I'm, i'm not a game, a game developer right but like mm -hmm. i think if the question is how um how come like all those graphics and everything can be sent to the other um, um mobile uh, the other player yeah. basically yeah. so i don't know about all of the games right but um uh, based on my experience so um it's actually what you sent is not the full content right you probably only right. send mm -hmm. the data like you know one to three and stuff forward, like yes, that position, yes, yes So it's actually a small amount of data that you send and being received to the other player. So it's not like you know the whole uh, texture and everything being sent. Yeah. Uh, if that's what uh, your question is, I think. And and on the other game, uh, the other player, then they basically just receive. Oh, this player is moving two steps forward, and then they'll just simulate it. You know those kind of um, mm -hmm. um, movement. Am I right, Mukta? So, yes, absolutely. I yeah. think you know better Good, than that. <laughs> no, you're absolutely. Yeah. Thanks. So yeah, um, that's a good question because uh, based on the answer, uh, that's that's kind of like a one question that I want to ask. Like if the 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 um, okay, so yeah, probably Iqbal would do. How to get a small latency for 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 our multiplayer games? Because uh, based on the Max answer, that uh, you only, you only kind of like uh, sending requests of the comment than the whole thing, right? So maybe mukta could explain it explain based on her experience on the, the the how to to lower the latency and stuff like that because online games is really sensitive to kind of like latency and stuff like that Probably. yes uh, yeah. yes absolutely so uh, we are, so the architecture the original architecture that worked for us in india did not work for us from latency perspective for indonesia we had to do a lot of uh, tweaks uh, so uh, how to get that latency in multiplayer games uh, so this is where the um, on on cloud you mean right this is yes, again i think it's a repetition absolutely. of the same question yeah yeah, yeah it's a, it's it's like uh, what uh, it 
so I think there is the way the Indonesia uh, 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 what ISVs work is mm. it's a little different than what works in India. So the way the calls are being made. So I might this I think Max will know better because the way the calls are being made to the servers are slightly different than the way the ISVs uh, send those calls to uh, the servers within okay. India actually. So there is a difference and and this actually. Uh, it, so the first thing is when we uh, uh, we have uh, since we had to use a hybrid cloud architecture for Indonesia, our entry point had to be in Indonesia and behind which we put a CDN. Okay, this CDN, uh, all the calls were cached and then this uh, the requests go to uh, AWS Singapore through a dedicated tunnel between Alibaba and AWS Singapore. Okay, so in all of this, uh, in a lot of these networks, different stages from users mobile to the Alibaba uh, server where we run our HO proxy, then the CDN hub, then uh, to Singapore, and then the backend processing and back. So these yeah. different network hubs, it's actually negligible if it was done right. But to get over there, it was like a big process where like, uh, we had to do. But this is what worked for us, these steps. and. Uh, the latency got uh, reduced to almost one tenth of what we were getting, wow. and with a very slow speed, you cannot play a game when uh, the experience is very slow. So you can't. Yeah, do absolutely. It, yeah. <laughs> Especially so like the, in, in, in yeah. the competitive uh, scene, right? Like you know the the let let's just uh, mention kind of like you know uh, mobile or anything like that. If if you have especially like uh, first person shooter and stuff like that, right? Yes. Like if we had a low yeah, uh, high latency that that would disturb the whole experience and stuff, right? Yes. Um, so basically, use of CDN also for caching your API calls is also right. useful. So that's also something which I think Max covered in his session. Um, mungkin untuk uh, Max bisa ada ditambahin sedikit terkait latency oh. atau like pengalaman selama dengan like dengan Lito juga atau dari MPL juga. Okay. So I think for me, uh, mungkin. I, I don't know. Is it better in Indonesia or English? Or it's, uh, it's probably better in English. So. In English, <laughs> so okay. So. Mok Mok could, think, you know, go go in, in the discussion as well. Okay, sure. So I think for me, uh, based on my experience, because my game was not um, a first-person shooting, right? It's not like right. online where it's like it has to be like super competitive. Um, uh, based on what I heard, the information that I have, if you want to do like first-person shooting, um, right. you try and uh, get it. If possible below 15 millisecond the latency or maybe 25 i guess um but i think that's probably a general guidance if not yeah. then you'll have a lot of latency and everything but uh, not all multiplayer games um are super latency sensitive i would say yeah. um you know there are some multiplayer games that you know um, just a simple game right let's say yeah. Othello, maybe Othello, you, know, you, can, you can move yeah. and then yeah. you know you just wait for a while and then they move so yeah. it's probably mm. less sensitive but it's still um, important. I mean, it will improve the, the the user experience, of course. Yeah, yeah, like the the asynchronous kind of like multiplayer, probably like that, like chess, you know, yeah. stuff like that, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, we, in fact, uh, so uh, we are also hosting PUBG and Free Fire on uh, MPL platform. Ooh, I see. That's <laughs> uh, cool. It's it's not yet rolled out in Indonesia. It's uh, being mm. played in India, and always our lobbies are always full in those games. But we we can do that as well, and uh, we, which was one more point I just wanted to uh, so maybe Arjun uh, can help me correct the mail ID of Resha. Oh, yes, uh, so yes, in case absolutely. you would want to contribute, yes. uh, there was a spelling mistake in the email yes. ID I shared. So if you could share it with the uh, public, that would be great. Uh, thanks. Probably. Um, give me a second. So while while waiting, actually, I want to add something from Muktamin. Um, yes. Based on what we have in in um, in Alibaba, right? Like um, during this COVID, is actually, I mean, uh, more people are playing games. Is that correct? Uh, when a multiplayer, more people. Huh? Uh, I mean, like generally during this um, COVID situation, you know, all over yeah. the world, actually, more people are playing games these days. How, how yes, absolutely. Yes. So in India, yeah, our traffic is close to four x, three point five x of uh, what it used to be earlier. Uh, so it's huge in Indonesia. Also, we've seen a big traffic, but I think uh, in Indonesia, the COVID and lockdown wasn't that <laughs> a critical problem, right? Like, like the way we went into strict lockdown in India, I don't think it just affected Jakarta. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, so these numbers, so definitely through in COVID times, we right. see that the trend in, even in Indonesia has increased in the lockdown. Uh, it's not yeah. at 4x, it's a little lesser, but still, uh, uh, we can see that increase. We also see there are certain events that happen uh, in Indonesia. Uh, you know, I think uh, some elections or so, some things that are going to ah, happen, right. we see yeah. those, those also affect the gaming trends, actually. So, oh. That's cool. So a lot, a lot of things, but yeah, in COVID and this this time, when people are locked down in the house, people are playing games a lot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> me <Yeah>. too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, based on the MPL, I, I got a um, question that uh, personal message me. Uh, so with those traffic. And uh, I know that a couple of Indonesian developer right now is uh, developing for uh, MMO or something like that. Um, is there any specific uh, specification if we want to collaborate with MPL through your platform? Uh, yes. So there are. Uh, so it's pretty much straightforward, but there has to be. It's it's more like a business model, and that's exactly where you can write to Resha, but if you have a game, for example, games like um, uh, Ludo, like games like chess, or right. it might be a game like PUBG or Free Fire. So you could run these games or even games like smaller games like Fruit Chop or mm -hmm. you know, Pro Cricket. So there are uh, games that vary from a single player game, a 1v1 or a multiplayer game. So you could run mm -hmm. them. Um, it's it's just that uh, it would be more of a business discussion on how do you want the contracts for the person who's hosting it on MPL, they can publish it on the platform and you know make money out of it. And then in fact, uh, there is uh, something. There are different models based on which we sometimes host uh, the gaming infrastructure. Sometimes it's hosted by the game developers. So there are right. multiple options that are available. Uh, from yeah, so that's it. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. So, um, is there any specific um, uh, game engine that 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 suitable, uh, more suitable for the MPL gaming itself, or is there there is no like restriction in in, in game engine? Because I know yeah, that couple so of mm -hmm. because couple of uh, company or publisher uh, is kind of uh, strict to that. Yeah, so we prefer SmartFox uh, uh, servers, the gaming uh, gaming servers, to be SmartFox or Photon. However, we're not restricted to that. Uh, right now, that support is available, and most of the games that are available fit into these two right now for us. So, uh, yeah, other than that, the gaming servers can be uh, something else as well. Like, and then we could provide that support as well. I see. So as long as integrate with the, the 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 whole ecosystem of what MPL use, that's 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 the the the, the yes. scope of it, right? Yes. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Just go. Yeah. So basically, uh, I spoke about a matchmaking service that we have, which helps right. find the right match in you know very less time. Uh, so this is this is written a lot efficiently to work with uh, the Smart Fox gaming servers. Right. Okay, so when it is a support for something else, uh, it it works. SmartFox works better for our server, so that's that's it. I see. All right, all right. Thank you, Muta. Um, next question, uh, producer. Okay, uh, for Alibaba, maybe in Basa. Uh, tanya apakah Alibaba punya service multiplayer as a Photon engine? Uh, that's that's uh, we talked before. Uh, kalau ada. Uh, platform Alibaba itu multiplayer-nya gimana step-nya dan mungkin lebih ke tadi uh, sama pertanyaannya kira-kira uh, apa gimana apakah ada integrate khusus ke game engine misalkan kayak yang terkenal kan ada Unity dan Unreal atau you know others like Facer or something like that. So. Hmm. Oke, okay. um, aneh ya. Ini saya oh ya yeah, oke okay, benar. Ya, yeah, jadi um, jadi saya jawab pakai bahasa Indonesia ya. Boleh, bahasa Inggris bahasa Inggris boleh. Oke, okay. uh, jadi uh, untuk kayak gini sih sebenarnya saya kalau misalnya yang foton saya sebenarnya kurang terlalu familiar. Tapi tadi barusan saya quickly search ada sih. Jadi mungkin lebih ke arah um, kita punya library-nya untuk diintegrasikan um, dengan foton engine inilah. Kalau yang Unity kita ada juga uh, tergantung kalian mau SDK seperti apa. Misalnya 
mau naruh kontennya di kita atau lognya di kita itu kita ada jadi yang kita provide di Alibaba Cloud adalah um, uh, misalnya kayak log misal contohnya ya log kita punya punya log storage-nya gitu tapi kalau misalnya kalian menggunakan Unity dan uh, pakai um, tinggalan apa ya, kayak library-nya kita jadi kalian tinggal manggil function-nya aja nanti log-nya itu langsung di push ke kita punya log engine misalnya gitu atau kalian mau database-nya kalau kalau kalian push kita misalnya dan lain sebagainya kita juga ada di sana. Sorry tadi pertanyaan boleh di highlight. Oh iya, yeah, sorry sorry. Uh, okay, ada ada Yes. Ya ada hal menggunakan platform lain. Oke. Okay. Jadi kalau misalnya dari kita sih um, yaitu kalau misalnya kalian udah punya engine tertentu uh, coba aja maksudnya simple search of Alibaba Cloud spasi engine itu uh, kemungkinan besar kita udah ada lah gitu kemungkinan besar. Tapi kalau in, in misalnya major, in, ya secara in, in major lain, game game engine kan. Iya. Yeah. Tapi kalau yeah. misalnya memang, uh, misalnya belum ada nih apa yang kalian mau, nggak uh, mm. ada atau belum ada, uh, right. tetap sih dari kita, kita punya SDK-nya gitu. Jadi kita punya um, SDK-nya yang tetap kalian bisa integrasikan meskipun mungkin lebih manual kali ya untuk kayak yeah. insert library-nya atau apa. Tapi kita juga punya API-API yang bisa kalian gunakan juga. Um, menurut saya sih nggak terlalu ada masalah. Cuma mungkin um, kalau yang udah langsung SDK kita provide lebih mudah aja. Yes. Uh, mungkin aku bakal coba nanya yang soal global deploy ya, especially like um, uh, Ragnarok dan Lito itu kan basically dia game-game seperti itu kan ada patchnya ya. Dan dan uh, how could Alibaba handle that things dan dan apalagi kan misalkan uh, apakah a whole patchnya dimasukin ke cloud terus disebut as a global deployment or like or probably Mukta could Uh, experience the 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 the, the same uh, topic about the the global deployment and and stuff like that. Probably, mungkin dari Max dulu. Oke, okay. kalau dari saya sih, uh, I think semua game developer punya uh, cara masing-masing. Cuman uh, waktu dulu zaman saya masih jadi game developer, eh sorry, I, I need to talk in English. Uh, confused. Uh, so um, based on my experience uh, back then when I was doing uh, game development. We actually store the the patch in um, cloud storage. Uh, for example, in, in Alibaba Cloud, we have uh, what we call OSS, Object right. Cloud Storage. So we we store it there, and then so the 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 client usually will download. Um, I, I don't know. It depends. Maybe the binary or something. Yeah. Uh, download it and extract it, and you know, um, patch it, so to say. Right. So we we put it there. It can be combined with the CDN as well to accelerate uh, the delivery. Um, I think for, is that the question? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like related to the global deployment. I know that uh, most games first gonna check the uh, the client will check this, the the version of the game itself. If it's different, and then they would uh, request on the server. Is that is that kind of the work yeah. or is could yeah? Yeah. So that's I think the basic. So when I first uh, created the game, we pro- we actually missed that, and it caused a lot of problem actually. <laughs> Um, you know, when you first start to do the, the just the start loading, right. just call a certain API, a simple API. In fact, yeah. the re- response can be just like the status or what whatnot, right? Yeah. And that can actually uh, decide a lot of things, like download the patch or show yeah. that you know, the the server is on maintenance or whatever. I think that's right. one of the most important API. Yeah. So is that the AI part coming from the Alibaba? No, it's it's a simple status actually. I mean, at least uh, my experience. I don't know. Maybe Mukta has own experience. Yeah. Maybe Mukta could uh, explain more about the 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 patch thing and the global deployment. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. So this is about uh, uh, this. Uh, you know, how do you update the game assets? Like I just yeah. didn't get the. Yeah. So so it's based on the uh, online surface of the game itself, right? As an online game, we need to kind of like patch the game, update the 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 in app or something like that, right? Like yeah. uh, based on that, uh, do you have any experience on on the 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 patch? Uh, how to patch an asset or all the whole game itself? Uh, yeah. So as, yeah. So basically, uh, we we uh, did face this issues earlier where uh, the servers and the client side at times were out of sync. So which is where we uh, have those uh, patches, which are like uh, you have to deploy the updated versions of the game assets, uh, without which you cannot play. So at sometimes uh, you just sometimes it's just a soft alerts which gives you that you need to upgrade and this is going to get deprecated. So 
you can up upgrade it otherwise at some point it's a, like a hard upgrade that you need to do so that is something which is, i think uh, yeah it's a uh, as max said it's like a simple uh, feature that's available based on which you can actually do it i see okay okay, okay. probably next question uh producer so um what games that already use the the alibaba surface uh do you have a surface like photon probably that's uh you already answered that a little bit before or mm -hmm. some sdk uh sometime we need the best practice and tutorial hub that's that's uh, the question uh to max probably the first okay I'm not, I'm not sure about what is this service but if you're asking about like game companies that are using um alibaba cloud at the moment um we have Quite a quite a few, but we cannot mention unless they 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 Absolutely. agree to it. And like MPL, yeah. like um, Indofan, um, Lito, for example, in Indonesia. Right. Um, we Alibaba Alibaba doesn't build the engine. If that's your your question is, so we don't have an engine per se at this point of time. Right. Uh, um, but if you are actually in, um, we don't have it in Indonesia. It's just that in China we actually have cloud gaming like. Um, meaning that the the the, but it's a it's sort of a one step above this um, Alibaba Cloud topic. I guess it's more like right. a service where they can actually upload the game and serve their customers with their game. Yeah, I think that's that's my point of view from Alibaba. Um, uh, on the best practice and tutorial, we have it on the Alibaba Cloud side, but again, because we don't create engine game engine at this point of time, right. so um, probably yeah. Not, not relevant. Yeah, but. probably I want to kind of like adding the the, the answer to that. So uh, Max have been explained before that the ping talk, right? Like the, the, the talk, one, yeah. yeah, the ping talk that uh, the, there's a four main uh, talk, uh, cloud computing and, and others. But probably you could share it on the uh, private chat. Um, so. Probably the, the 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 emphasis of the question that I could take on this is kind of like, what is the best practice to learn about this uh, um, a server side or kind of like this uh, the whole tutorial and stuff like that and how it uh, based on the, uh, the 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 probably the the uh, the person who questioned this answer probably new to the whole uh, ecosystem of uh, cloud gaming and stuff like that. Mm, that, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think you are right. So if that's the the question, so we we provide free training at this point of time. We want to um, we have we have trained more than five thousand um, users um, now, and we are looking for even more than that. Probably I don't know, ten or twenty thousand. Or I mean, we we try and train as much as possible actually. Right. Um, so we we are trying to push this on in terms of um, education point of view. So feel free to join. Feel free to join. Um, yeah. So, uh, based on the the question of Max, like um, tr uh, based on the MPL uh, platform itself, is there is there anything specific that we need to learn before we collaborate with the 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 the, the platform of the MPL? Uh, so, uh, no, so there are actually three things that uh, you need to do if your game is typically now. Again, I'm actually going to mix the last question and your question yeah. together. So uh, it's it's for the beginners, maybe, who are looking at trying to write a game and trying to host it on MPL. Uh, so there is, uh, it's a single player game. You don't require a gaming server. It runs on your handset, your uh, yeah. mobile. It will run on your mobile. So, uh, so for that, you don't require a gaming server. The gaming assets typically get downloaded through CDN. But how do you do that? So as Max said, you can actually follow certain tutorials that are available on Alibaba Cloud. And that is the best place to get started. Okay. If you write, so now this particular game should be uh, to be hosted, to, to be able to host it on MPL platform, you should be able to play it in the format of a tournament or an event. So where, example, even if it is a single player game, uh, we should be so what at MPL is we create a lobby lobby or there's an event or tournament. So for example, right. uh, let's take an example of fruit chop. It's a single player game. Mm. Okay. But the a tournament can run for one hour and at, at the one after one hour, the user whose score is the highest 
becomes the winner in this case. So something of where there's a score calculation or uh, and the okay. So one important thing is in MPL, the all of these games should be skill based games. So I it see. is not luck based because we believe in esports as a platform. Right. So this is all esports as a service where we it should be a skill based game. Uh, so that's another thing. And the others are like when we went in multiplayer, which we've been discussing about. Again, right. how to develop those? Uh, follow the Alibaba coding standards or you know development tutorials that you might have. Uh, one point I'd like to add is what we're trying to build right now at MPL is can we can a game developer come and MPL provides resources using which they develop a game without writing in a single line of code. So I that's see. something which we are trying to work on, though it's a little a long way down the line. But that's something which a game developer may not need to learn to write code. But certain, uh, yeah, so certain uh, uh, libraries or certain uh, you know packages that we'll give them, and they can develop the game. Yeah. So, uh, what what can I understand to to those uh, statements that like. Um, MPL is trying to uh, make it easier as possible, right? As easy as possible for the developer mm -hmm. to 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 collaborate in the MPL uh, platform. Is that true, yes. right? And That's and right. it's supposed to be a skill based game if you want to collaborate with MPL because the main platform is uh, the esport one, right? Yes. Yes. Um, probably next question. Seeing some online games get trouble in early version, can you tell me what exactly happened when server are down? Uh, any tips how to deal it from the client side? Uh, anybody want to answer? Yeah, I think Max will have a good answer, but I'll just answer it specifically from MPL side. Yeah. Uh, so when servers are down, there would like there are two uh, things when they would be down: a scheduled maintenance. And something which uh, which is a problem in there. Uh, so when typically, I'll just answer when you want to bring down your servers for upgradation or certain changes. Uh, at, at the client side, typically you write a configuration. Uh, so there is a configuration it reads and it shows that your app is under maintenance. Okay, but when uh, the servers go down quickly, so uh, if you think your servers can come back up in the next one minute or so. That is where we also make use of this uh, app under maintenance. Okay, now coming to a stage where our app doesn't go down so, uh, for more than 30 minutes per quarter today, uh, but we were not like this from day one. So we ha used to have a couple of hours downtime per week as well. Something goes wrong. There were a lot of, as I mentioned, in the early version, there are a lot of bugs and a lot of issues. So during that time, uh, we used to take a call, but during that time itself, we used to have a setting uh, which we just set it to on and it, it the, the app went into the maintenance mode so the users uh, how does it affect so a user who's connected to a game and playing the game as long as the gaming servers and his game uh, on his mobile it's working correctly yeah. it's not going to be a problem for him but if he was just someone browsing the app and figuring out which game to play this is where he gets chucked out because it becomes a maintenance game I what see. happens if the gaming server itself are down? So now this is where uh, we have. So this is the entire crux. See, uh, while the player is playing, if there is some kind of a problem in the uh, gaming servers itself, then okay. it's a problem uh, which uh, we have to set them up as high availability. Again, this is where the importance of Alibaba gaming servers on Indonesia region was to MPL. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably Max could continue yeah. the answer. Sure. Yeah. So, um, Barley. Yeah. Um, oh. Alibaba doesn't down. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Alibaba servers won't go down. Mostly your app will go down. Yeah. Your service, which is running on the server goes down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's what he means. <laughs> uh, everything fails all the time. Right. Like, um, eventually something, <laughs> something might happen. Right. Um, yeah. So I think, um, from from Alibaba perspective or from the server point of view, um, what we can do is just to um, reduce the chance from happening, right? So right. Um, there's this term SPOF, which is single point of failure. So in all of the stack that you have, you need to re 
you need to reduce or eliminate basically single point of failure. <clears throat> what it means is that if you only have one, um, let's say, um, virtual machine for your server, right? If it's done, right. it's gone. You cannot do anything about it, right? So you need to think of like, okay, so uh, can I split this into two? When it's down, I can still use the other one, etc. Yeah. So the database as well, how to make it like there's a master standby or even cluster or whatnot. I mean, there's a technique that we can use to reduce the chance of the server to be down. I mean, I'm gonna add to the the answer. Uh, based on my experience, I don't have much of experience to the server. Uh, as far as I know, uh, back when I work outside of game, I think uh, in general, an application with 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 cloud uh, cloud server uh, needs to have uh, exact uh, what is called the approximation of the data itself so so the 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 data should supposed to be kind of like uh, accurate right uh, while the game while the game scene or like the the online game is not about more more accurate data it's, it's more about how how the the uh, latency should, could be low and something like that right so so if 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 it's down probably uh, you could kind of like uh, if, if the, the game developer kind of kind of like uh, predict the movement and stuff like that, that that could help too, right? As long what what my, what I'm trying to say is kind of like uh, that's why the the latency is 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 the, uh, quite sensitive than than other application, right? Uh, and and also the 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 data could be approximate when it's done for like one second, we could we can just like. The, the developer could estimate where the player wants to go a little bit, some some something like that. If that if that's kind of uh, adding uh, something to the question to the answer. <laughs> Sorry. So um, probably this is kind of like the the uh, last question. Uh, someone uh, also PM me about this. So based on the mungkin mungkin ini ke Max ya, probably. Um, sorry for Muksa, probably I'm gonna go in Bahasa. Yeah, no so, problem. So, sebenarnya um, selain dari education itu, uh, ada nggak sih sebenarnya insentif untuk uh, game developer game developer indie buat uh, nyoba atau masuk ke, uh, misalkan kayak, kan kan kalau misalkan tiba-tiba langsung belum dicobain harus misalkan suruh bayar dulu gitu tapi kan nanti nanti nggak nggak puas atau misalkan ada ada di luar dari education itu ada nggak sih uh, pad untuk kita menyobain dulu nih uh, servisnya dulu misalkan kayak oh ternyata kita puas nih habis itu kita bisa upgrade usernya atau seperti itu sebenarnya ada program-program seperti itu kasih dari bapak hmm. jadi kalau misalnya dari bapak kita punya free trial lah untuk most of our products jadi kayak misalnya virtual machine ya database nya kita ada tapi di Um, level uh, tertentu ya, misalnya um, size-nya tertentu, etc. Jadi kita ada free trial-nya, um, kalian semua bisa nyoba gitu ya, bisa main-main dulu istilahnya, uh, yes. coba-coba, nggak masalah. Waktu kalian sign up, kalau kalian sign up secara individual, saya rada lupa juga, mungkin ada kemungkinan ya, ada kemungkinan kalau kalian masukin kartu kredit, kita mungkin charge 1 dolar, gitu. Cuma buat mastiin bahwa kartu kreditnya itu bukan fraud misalnya. Tapi kalau bisa nah. bisnis setelah itu nanti kita ada, saya tahu saya juga, kita nanti akan balikin lagi atau gimana. Saya ada lupa lah, maksudnya untuk uh, masalah. Sebagai jaminan lah ya. Uh, semacam semacam yeah. itu lah, soalnya banyak um, credit card fraud lah istilahnya. Hmm, that's nah, true. Sih, kalau dari kita. Jadi kalau misalnya setelah kalian itu, kalian udah bisa nyoba sih, kalian coba aja main-main kayak gitu. Kalau di luar masalah, kayak misalnya, uh, bi- kalau misalnya kalian sebagai company dan ada hmm. established company, mungkin kalian bisa engage lagi ke BD-nya kita, maksudnya kayak ke right. business development-nya kita, buat cari tahu lebih dalam. Di luar itu kalau misalnya di luar masalah uang dan segala macamnya, menurut hmm. saya sih keunggulannya dari um, Alibaba Cloud sendiri adalah kalian bisa fail fast gitu. Jadi, right. kalian nggak usah um, apa ya? Kalau kalian butuh server, mau belinya di mana? Oh, perlu satu bulan atau saya nggak tahu lah enam bulan. Apalagi yeah. kalau on premise semua harus beli segala macam kan. Right. Kalau di Alibaba Cloud, kalian tinggal nyoba aja gitu. Jadi saya sempat bilang sedikit. Kalau misalnya kurang gede tinggal digedein, kalau misalnya terlalu gede tinggal dikecilin, mau nambah tinggal ditambah, itu dalam hitungan menit kalian bisa. Sedangkan kalau misalnya kalian uh, fokusnya misalnya di on-premises nih gitu, right. itu ribet ya, maksudnya kayak kurang gede ditanyain sama bos misalnya, eh kok lu dari awal kok nggak, misalnya kamu kok nggak dari awal yeah, tinggi, yeah. Nah, misalnya. Terus kalau misalnya kebesaran, wah rugi lah istilahnya kayak gitu. Mm. Butuh nambah, wah butuh waktu lagi misalnya. Nah itu, 
itu uh, kerugiannya sih. Jadi kalau misalnya kalian lihat um, game-game uh, saat ini gitu ya, kalau misalnya dia biasanya punya banyak server ya, karena satu server yeah. ada maksimalnya lah istilahnya. Absolutely. Kalau dia punya banyak server, tiba-tiba, wah oh, game ini dari 5 tiba-tiba jadi 12, dari berapa, itu sangat dipermudah dengan cloud. Kalian tinggal copy yeah. aja game servernya, image-nya, dibuat lagi, dihapus. Bisa real-time lah ya intinya. Kayak... So, dalam hitungan menit kalian udah bisa buat multiple server kalau misalnya game kalian tiba-tiba pick naik. Yes, that's true. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. That's cool. So, um, probably gonna summarize all of this um, session. If that's okay with all of, all, two of you. So, um, so if you guys want to collaborate or wants to know more about MPL and, and kind of like um, want to learn about how you could collaborate with those platform probably you could uh let's go so probably you could go through as as those uh email is is that uh, responsive or like is there any like work hour yes yes ah uh, okay uh uh you can just drop an email mostly uh, uh he so it's resha he works typically in the normal work hours uh, working days but uh, he, he should be able to respond even before that sometimes okay. just feel free to drop an email yeah. and then you can connect over uh, a phone or something later okay um so yeah uh, and for alibaba itself uh, probably bisa mengunjungi ini ya atau tadi kalau QR code-nya enggak ada tadi kita bisa naruh di sini survei appsnya uh, tadi untuk survei juga dan mungkin juga bisa tanya-tanya juga ke Max atau ada yang mau tambahin terkait Alibaba? Hmm, Oke okay, cukup. Juga. Right. Oke okay, uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for both of you uh, through this skill three episode nine. Uh, we really uh, enjoy this session. Uh, Uh, that's it, uh, teman-teman. Uh, buat uh, minggu depan bakal ada uh, how to design multiplayer game. I think I don't. Uh, mungkin aku harus cek dulu. Uh, mungkin nyambung juga sama yang ini. Jadi uh, thank you for Muta for coming in and uh, Max as well. Uh, that's it. Uh, see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Thanks Muta. Adan. <laughs>